hello Dwayne hello everybody um got a couple of questions that are not so much questions but more observations um first one was Kevin and I have been to lots of courses in the past years ago sort of shaman courses wicker courses and all that sort of thing the sort of stuff that people do as they kind of they're trying to find something and I was just wondering that the reason that the new you presentation isn't as widespread as it should be is that a lot of people want an instant either certificate or something to say you are a shaman you've done a weekend course you are a reiki master and things like that whereas the new you presentation you don't just get given an automatic yes you've passed you have to work on it yourself yeah well i see it uh you know in a way young lady yes thank you for asking it's just like the corporation i came through to uh also uh with many others and paul did the initiation thing and you know each initiation you might say becomes a conclusion i went through all these i went through all the 14th and 14th initiations rebazar gave them to me after a certain one after a certain actually gave them to me all all of them but i went through all of those up to 2001 uh, to take on the real position at that time. And those, I, I look back at how I uh, looked at those at those particular times. And I see that, you know, each one of those steps became conclusions in their way. It's like, oh, I'm this, I'm a third initiate, or I'm a fourth, or I'm a fifth, or I'm a seventh, or I'm this or that. Well, after a while, the, uh, the real side ones, uh, skipping initiations 9th to 12th to 14th, etc., those you really can't say anything. Only a few people knew because they had the experience too, especially my uh, girlfriend at the time, Chris, because we, that was Blue Sky Island. That's book eight. And so uh, other than that, it's whatever. So when I uh, looked over how to put this together there was basic ideas and i decided no membership uh no initiations none of this i wanted the field to be open no no ideas because you see in the corporation you know when a person gets an initiation they start off and all of a sudden they're looking for their second initiation which is basically two years it's automatic your second initiate after that you have to wait for the corporation well in paul's day it was a little different but today uh, you're just waiting for the computer to decide for the most part and believe it or not there's higher initiates that uh, that are sent out names that also decide i used to get that because i was an initiator when i was a seventh initiate in 1990 i used to get that list and i'd okay everybody i didn't i didn't squam or whatever i just okay everybody because I didn't see myself standing in the way of anybody. This is, you know, that's going to be a decision. Realistically, the individual, uh, you know, is provided that on the real side and makes the decision to move forward. Just like in a company where you're provided something and all of a sudden the boss comes to you and says, oh, we'd like to make you an executive, okay, with us from management to executive. Would you like to do that? So again, the offer is made. You decide yes or no. And so, um, yeah, the new presentation, uh, like I've exemplified many times, is like the sun shining. There are no limitations, and that's what the new you is too. This is how I see it. This is what I've decided. And yes, I see that sometimes people are frustrated. I had, I remember one time there was an individual on Facebook said, you know, uh, your whole thing looks kind of fake, Duane, because you don't have any doctrine or anything like this. You don't have anything sc scheduled out, or et cetera. And it's like, okay, whatever. Well, I'm not going to do that. And that, that would be like a bird's deciding, okay, today we're going to fly this way. And then when we get to a certain point, we're going to turn right and then left and then right again and then we're going to come back, okay? And so, uh, because we're in a literal world, most people relate to their literal mind. And I like showing people how to, yes, you can have your literal mind, but at the same time, you don't need to be always influenced by that. There's a whole lot more to see and experience. And this is where it's all open to you. So. That's why I've created the new presentation as I have. And I, 
really wasn't even going to write the true courses. Uh, but at a certain point, I realized that, uh, you know, people will probably want uh, that part of it. And it's been fine. And then people did start to show up and they subscribed to the course. And then through that, uh, you know, I would communicate them, et cetera, that communicate with them. That was the idea, just kind of like what Paul did. Originally, Paul <clears throat> started off uh, just wanting to send out his discourses individually. And it was uh, the people that he was relating to who became what he called his chilas or the students, whatever. Uh, they wanted to have the get togethers. And so this is where the satsang idea was created. And he wrote uh, the satsang courses and uh, gave ideas of how to get together and do that. So that wasn't his decision. Uh, and I have written a course with initiation starting from the seventh. OK, uh, they haven't been really used. I actually wrote that for the Africans. They wanted it. And so I wrote uh, 12 courses for that uh, many, many years ago, and I haven't seen them implemented. But I provided that for people, gave them the idea, but more so. But no, this is an open field here. And this is where you decide to take each step into the unknown and start to, uh, first of all, intuitively feel your way along until you gain insight and recognize your real awareness. And then that relationship with the real universe is and eventually the all is. You see? So, yes, this is a journey like no other uh, and as you look at what you've been through, uh, you'll see, and you'll see it on the real side, they're basically physical, astral, that's as far as they go because they have, uh, you know, created positions and they don't even see it. They think it's all the ultimate or whatever, but they have created positions to confine themselves. Thing. So you can learn to see the difference. But yes, uh, to the literal mind, what we're presenting you might say is far too real and you know just simply the all-natural environment is the whole of life that's the whole idea it's right in front of everybody but it takes a whole lot to get it you see so it's like standing at that university there on the front steps and looking at the whole place and it's like wow this place is huge but you got to go through it to figure it out so uh yeah and you're doing that a little step at a time and i would say that just even through the skypes here and what you've come to know as you compare the difference there really is a difference because through what is being presented because it relates to the isness life is it doesn't relate to some master or god or technique or ritual or ceremony or tradition and all these things that are confined and locked in time and space it relates to your real awareness that has no restrictions. So, but you decide to see the difference, you see? Okay, thanks for that. Um, and my second question isn't really a question as such. Um, I set up a new Facebook page for myself because my other one gets full of sort of rubbish, basically. And I just wanted to make sure that the new you information was separate and then I could transfer it backwards and forwards. Um, I've had a load of people wanting to friend me, which sounds great, but I just wonder what people do about it. Cause I've had well, at the moment, I've got a hundred plus friend requests and are all these people sort of new you people or just, they're just chancing it and wanting my friendship. Okay. So do you want new friends? <laughs> <laughs> um, some of them I'm not there sure there they are there they are they're knocking on the door I don't know yes I get friend requests I just click them on and some of them are echoes and different well you know there's a few that uh, with their picture I look at it and if they've got you know we'll just use this idea if they got a picture of the devil or something no I don't click on them it's like okay if you want that idea with yourself you can have it they gotta they gotta clean themselves up a little bit but uh uh uh, you decide, you just click on them, and uh, I always leave a little icon there, uh, like saying hi, then some of them come back and say, oh, I've, I'm reading your books or whatever, and so there's a lot of people out there seeing what you're doing, and especially on the real side, and so when it comes to the personal self, all of a sudden they're seeing something there, but you know what, realistically, see it from their viewpoint, 
they don't really understand what they're seeing, but they know something's there. It's kind of like that. But again, you decide to accept them or not. That's up to you. Do you know how to do that? Yes, I do, yeah. It's just that I, I'm just wondering if you get swamped with friends and then get swamped with rather strange pictures and things like that. Well, I uh, actually, uh, for the most part, uh, Eva monitors my uh, my my Facebook, that part. I go to the homepage usually and share and do things like that or create groups. I like to create groups. But on that, uh, she does. And then I go to it once in a while. Well, see, I'm the scary guy, uh, Gwen. And that is is that <laughs> for the most part, most people won't leave things on my Facebook. Uh, it's just the people that I know that are in the group. For the most part, there's a few other once in a while or an Agist or something or somebody out there. And I'll just click it off. But uh, I don't get a lot like that. And I get friend, re- friend requests. I would say an average of one a day. But then there's also people leaving, you know, also. And so but I click them on. I give them a chance. Uh, to see if they want to step up and uh, maybe have a little chat or something. But I, I don't do a lot of chatting either. I just kind of say hi, and, and then I'll just give them the book. In other words, they they got to take some time to understand what we're doing here. So I don't just sit there and chat with them. I usually give them to Kelsey or somebody else because, see, getting in, getting them into one of the beginning groups is what I like to do if they're interested. So I, I give them to Kelsey as an example, and she does whatever. And so... Uh, but again, you decide how you're going to set it up because you kids are in the UK. So, you know, whatever, you and Kevin. Right. OK, so really it's worth friending them and hoping that they see the new you stuff and that they will get interested in it rather than just not friending them and then they never see about it. Well, again, everybody's different. And, uh, you know, Ava and I have went over this because Ava is the one that helped me, uh, you know, maneuver in facebook because i had a facebook account but i'd go on there and i didn't know what to do i really didn't it's like okay what do you do it's like when you first get your computer it's like okay great i got it now what do i do where do i point and click and how do i do things and so uh over time i figured it out then i I started doing groups well ava gets friends too and ava's funny i I uh, I like to watch her on the screen as she looks at these people. It's like, oh, this person wants to make friends with me, whatever. And she she really scrutinizes them. She looks at them and this background. And it's like, oh, okay, well, he's German or something, and it's a Russian. And it's like, I don't know if I want to be his friend or whatever. It's and again, it, it's your choice. Whatever you want to do, there are people just like you, but. Yeah, uh, this is what I'm here for. So uh, good, bad, or indifferent, take the beating or whatever. <laughs> this is, uh, you know, uh, this is my p- chosen position uh, to deal with it all. So for the most part, I just accept it. But I'm near 5,000. And so actually years ago, Ava and I had a contest. She was, when I first met Ava and we went on Facebook, she was telling me, well, oh, I've got like tw- she says, oh, I got like 2,200 friends. And one of the things that bothered her in the beginning was <clears throat> that, uh, you know, many of these friends were Ekes. And that all of a sudden she's doing the new you and putting these pictures out here. And it kind of bothered her. as like, I'm going to lose all my friends. And I said, oh, you mean all your fake friends, the ones that you know on Facebook? And so after a while, she giggled about it. And she didn't care anymore. But I thought, OK, I'm going to have a little fun here. And so I started clicking like mad, uh, accepting people, just clicking, uh, you know, ad person, ad person, whatever. I was kicked off Facebook for the first time for a couple of days, then the second time for a week, then the third time for a month because I clicked so much. But now they don't bother me. But I got up to like 4,000, all right? And uh, so she started clicking too after that. It was really funny because it took her years to build up those couple of thousand. She just let them in. But then after 4,000, I just kind of let it be. And now it's kind of, it's kind of made its way to like 4,950. So, uh, but uh, for me, I just, for the most part, I just let them in to see what they'll do or say and see what comes from that. But you decide. Right. Okay. Thanks. So the thing is, if they do start posting stuff you don't like, you can always unfriend them. Right. Okay. Thanks for that. I'll pass yeah. If they, uh, Gwen, if they, yeah, sorry. There's a few that have gotten a little bit funny with their conversations. 
and uh, I say a few things, but if they persist, then then I just block them. Yeah, I just block them. They just they'll they'll figure it out or they won't. But uh, yeah, you can just block them if they get really funny. Okay, thanks very much.